wow, you're not kidding. This really is just like a anime <laughs> opening. I love that. <laughs> All right. Hey, everyone. Waterbots here, and welcome to Hardcore Mecha. It's a... Formerly uh, Code Hardcore. Yeah. So we know of this game as Code Hardcore because uh, we got to see it at PAX East, East a couple of uh, months ago. And it looked really rad. We did the versus mode together. And so we could get the cute little acrylic charms. Yep. We got the one of the main character in the center of the blue one, and then the guy that's red yeah, over there we to go. the left. So, uh, let's see. So oh, I, was... I want to see their names. Okay. Uh, so the main character is Thunderbolt S. Crimson Flame. Round Hammer Siege Cannon. We saw that as a one of their figurines. They actually had... What I liked about the, the setup that they had there was they actually had... Model they had figurines. physical models yeah. for these. I was trying to figure out if I could buy them anywhere, but the answer is, I don't know. It was hard to tell. I think they had this guy, and he looked really cool. I think they also had the main character as well. Yeah. But not in chibi form. I would love it if they made little chibi characters, because they're so cute. Well, we have we have the, the acrylic charms, but... Ooh. And there's more mechs than this. There's other ones that you can unlock. But yeah, so I was playing as the plane, and I don't know what you were playing as. I was as playing show. as the main character. The blue guy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I scored a bunch of quick kills because nobody could figure out how to play. And then I very quickly realized that my character was extremely friendly and would get one shot most of the time. Which kind of sucked. Anyway. I used I used the shield bash and promptly was able to have consecutive slashing and or blasting attacks afterwards as the main character. It was awesome. Yeah. Well, the game also features a very substantive uh, story mode. So that's what we're going to be doing. Mm-hmm. I want to see what it's all about. Yeah. Because I loved the the character. Oh. Great O City Earth. For you, Seijin. D-S-S-T? Wait. Metallitron with million horsepower at your service. <laughs> okay. Go Ryu, Seijin. But... Wait, this guy looks like he might be part of a television show. It's the flying type space orc. Use your flashing. What? I'm just going to let people read the subtitles for this game. It goes by a little bit fast. Aww. I can't. Metallicron, yeah. <laughs> what? This is goofy nonsense. So that was the metallic wing leap. Yep. The evil orc Balza, Metallicron and I are here to stop your evil doings! Metallic combo! Oh, look at this! I love the animation! <laughs> so cute! Dodge! Dodge! Awesome! Okay. Yeah, I think this is going to be the one of those few games that I don't voice act at all. Because you're too intent on actually... Well, I have to acting. actually play yeah. it. That's I okay. mean, it's fine. We'll just treat it as some kind of like weird anime thing. Right now, Balzo, you are full of weaknesses! Die! Take my EX Flame Sword! Oh, that's such a Power Rangers ending. Look at that. <laughs> Damn. That's not the real world, apparently. Wait, there's a guy in a cape? Oh. Wait. He looks an awful lot like the hero in the television show. Yeah, 
Hardcore Mecha. Space. So pretty. I love the designs for these things. I love the hand drawn animation that they have going here. Was the were the characters in Flash, but then they had the stills. Yeah, maybe. It, this game visually reminds me of, uh, most people probably wouldn't know this, but there's a uh, rule set based on the um, the Dungeons and Dragons 3.0 and 3.5 rule set, I guess, uh, called D20 Modern, D20 Future. And all the, like, uh, sci-fi illustrations they're going with here really remind me of those. It's, it's super cool looking. Anyway. Mars, airspace of Sigma Station, assault frigate Phoenix. Teresa, Edoga. そろいました。何何久々の依頼だって。そうよ、坊やたち。しかもやたら気前のいいお客さんのね。モリス、早速ブリーフィングをお願い。うん。本件は本件におけるコードネームはAとする。おお、綺麗なお姉さんっすね。A そして任務に影響がなければいいんだが。すぐ出発するぞ。気をつけて行ってらっしゃい。防寒で待ってるわ。はい、はい。任せとけって。本日は間もなく112番行動の上空に到着します。素晴らしいが接近中だが、計画変更なしだ。作戦通り進めるぞ
Okay. I did... I, okay, so I can kill these people. This man will not survive. Seems a bit like overkill, considering you're in a mech. Okay, so I do have repair kits. I... There we go. <laughs> yeah, speaking of overkill... Okay, pick up... Okay, press use to... Actually use items, so I don't have to. I mean, I'm just gonna shoot your dumb generator. <laughs> <laughs> what was your plan there, dude? Like, lock the door instead. That would actually, like... Oh, watch out. Okay. Tell me how I can aim. Uh, what is this? Oh, just free repair station. Wow, that's convenient. They must have them around for their own mecha, which are the ones that with the Cyclopsian eyes. Yeah, I wanted to check something with the audio. So there is a voice volume thing. I'm actually going to turn it up a little. It's the audio. Because there's actually some pretty decent music going on mm -hmm. that we might as well listen to. If we're going to be here. If I can? Okay, there we go. Because, yeah, I turned it down because I was afraid it was going to ear blast everybody. But then I can turn it up at the very least. So, even if you are just listening to the Japanese and reading along, you'll at least feel like you're getting the full experience. Anyway, let's turn these down a bit. Okay, that should be better. Oh, there's even a map! I wonder how much I get to explore in this. Can I can I play as that mech? <laughs> Just have a shield at your disposal. Like I really like four-legged mechs. I'm not gonna lie. Like they are my oh, jam. Oh, talked with you. Oh yeah, he doesn't want to talk. He gave you a repair kit. Yep. Getting a lot of those. I don't know if that was an ally or an enemy. I think that was an enemy running away. I love helmet designs like that. Hey! <laughs> Okay. Dash towards the selected thing as an important movement method. Dashing can be used to evade the attack. Oh! Okay, so we can level up, we can switch our weapons. After picking up a weapon, press up to switch weapons. Weapons you've picked up will not replace the original's primary weapon. Additional weapons cannot be reloaded and no longer usable once the ammo runs out. Okay. So I've got my basic weapon. I guess I'm going to save the good one for later. And we've got another sweet repair station. Alright, so beyond the voice acting issues for us, I'm actually really liking this game. It's the rescue! Thank God! Do you see the supply can behind me? It's all over the place. Don't let the supply fall into the into their hands. Please destroy all the supply in there. So that was an instance of a character where... Yeah, so non-cutscene related stuff. So it's saying destroy all the canisters? Yeah. Yeah, so I'll read those out loud, if only because... I really did enjoy how they started the game with a... A, a sentai a, a, show? A, a, segment? Akin to a, a mecha kaiju sentai show, yeah. What is this? this digi Mars Mine Yield Yearbook. This digital yearbook is published in 2219 by Hermes Corp. This manual introduced the current status of Mars mining industry and the positive effect on space mine production brought by Hermes Corp. Did I miss a canister? 
So this is planet Mars. There's mercenaries. There's bandits. There's a mining operation. Oh, on the roof. Ah, yeah. It's adhered there. Okay, so we already got that. Yeah, yell at me if I miss any, because... I'm probably going to miss several. Oh. Oh, I guess I might as well use these. would be very costly these. in that people would prefer to have exosuits. What was that? You'd prefer... You'd think that mecha would be very costly and that it'd be better to have your infantrymen with mech... with uh, exosuits instead. But yeah. I suppose if someone has a mecha, then you have to have other mecha to combat them. Yeah, I mean, I guess mecha are just kind of the equivalent of big ATV tanks that well, can get all over the place. Well, they're extreme exosuits, and that... Actually change your height and strength to a greater degree than any exosuit normally would. So We still haven't been able to successfully create an exosuit, though, have we? Uh, there have been might, attempts. No, we absolutely have. They're just not... They don't look like an Iron Man suit. Let's just put it that yeah, way. Yeah, we can't make Iron Man suits, but we absolutely have made exosuits. Uh, we actually have... But they're more for lifting. Correct. Did I just And they're not very one? swift. Let's just put it that way. What the hell is that? Unfortunately... Oh, was that... Was that one? It's How? still difficult for robots to balance properly yeah. by pedaling. Yeah, there's another one. Oh wow, that boost meter just goes. That's handy. Okay, this is cool. Yeah, I, I'm liking this as a mecha action game. There aren't a whole lot like this. Nope, can't go that way. Well, I can just randomly destroy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's a good sign. I'm not sure what his plan was, to be totally honest. Oh, good. Clearly they're outclassed. But yeah, I, I, I do know... Search civilian zone. Feasibly, mecha aren't really worth it. Edo <laughs> A <laughs> little inching that you're doing. <laughs> Sneaky. <laughs> Feel like we have a boss fight in coming. Oh. What kind of mecha is that? A red mecha. There's no one in the cockpit. Would that be A's mecha? Mm hmm. Oh. What? Oh, it's his. This is making me smile so much. I really like how they mix the styles. Between the pseudo chibi forms and then the oh what would you refer to as the full-fledged anime animatics if you will yeah ow freaking knifey the mecha man okay there we go to 
learn how, remember how to dodge that is and then prepare your attacks and yeah you have more maneuverability than he does get range and then fire. oh yeah range and fire oh no he has his own range attacks wait how did you acquire more health did you have a healing item yeah Okay, Watch there we go. Watch the reoccurring rival. What? Well, that about sums up the boss fight. Yeah, I use my emergency repair kits. Mission accomplished. I got a boo. A Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, so there's a so level the system. Oh. E Evil Eye Patch guy has a an understudy in a way, this or at is, least what his like main crony. This is very anime. I'm really enjoying <laughs> this. I will say, I kind of want to put this on the TV. Oh, you want to put this on the I TV? I want to put this on the TV so we can see it like full size. Okay. Yeah. Well, at once we get to the uh, the, I'm sure there's management in between missions. <laughs> また<笑> With his flesh With his body. Flesh body. Ooh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> can fight a mecha with his flesh? Oh, because he did. Yeah. He yeah, jumped unarmored. up onto him uh, and planted the, the yeah, bombing device. Yeah, it's absolutely on his supposed face. to be an unarmored, uh, you know, outside of his mech, but just like flesh body just sounds <laughs> so <laughs> salacious. <laughs> like I'm just imagining some dude down to just like. What is it called? A fundoshi or whatever? The, the like, loincloth. Just, like, flinging himself in a mecha. He used his flesh body to fight me. Your flesh fist. <laughs> flesh fist. <laughs> his fleshy fists and fleshy legs. <laughs> against my hard anime robot. <laughs> Ooh. That's one fleshy body. And yet, he stood firm against my erect... <laughs> Giant robot. <laughs> In any case. <laughs> In any case. Yeah, so unarmored, he can fight against a mecha, essentially. Hey, new mission unlocked. New mission unlocked. Okay, so we can now customize this guy. So we can switch out our... Ooh, this is nice. So we, I'm assuming we have to find these. Aim assistance, items, weapons, combat. So shield strike and ram. Oh, can be used as a two combo. Cool. Ah, here we go. So protection. So increases HP. Uh, probably extra boost. And this is just the Thunderbolt. We might be able to switch Mecha as well. Hardcore Defense Corps. Advanced Combat Protocol allows you to use enhanced weapon ammunition to deal with heavy units. Huh. And then we can also get additional weapons, but they're kind of pricey. They look great, though. Mm. This is very EDF, and I'm really enjoying this. So honestly, I'm just going to get the power armor liner. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that just increases our HP. More armor. It's always beneficial. Hmm. Oh, you can customize your devices? Oh. Like your items? Easy mode rescue device. Uh, 
Restores the mecha to full, uh, but reduces your rank. I mean, honestly, I'm probably just going to grab the repair device. I don't think we have anything else that I can use. So this is the kind of game where you can repeat missions again and again until you have S rank on all of them? Yep. Oh, interesting. So that power armor liner I just developed actually goes here. So that increases oh, my max HP. Whereas this uh, aim assistance. gives auto aim to my rifle. I might be okay with that. I love the fact that they do give the easy mode enhanced device. Instead of having difficulty options, you just slap it onto your mecha and just go full ham on things. I like that. That's that's a good system. All right. Uh, this is actually going to be kind of the uh, stopping point for the episode. I realize it's a little shorter than my usual fare, but the way these episodes go, I'm either going to be stuck at slightly shorter than usual episodes or s way longer than I can sustain episodes. So they're just going to be one mission per episode, and we'll go from there. I mean, it's like an anime. Each episode's about 20, 25, 26 minutes long. Some get a little longer here and there. Okay, that's not how anime works. But whatever, this game is anime as hell and I love it. I There haven't been a whole lot of good mecha games, period, in forever. I mean, I'm sure there are. You could say Battletech or MechWarrior 5 or 4 or whatever's coming out. And there's like a couple other ones. But like, I like me some big anime mecha. And the only one that I know of that I'm excited for is Demon X Machina. You know, we haven't had an Armor Core in ages, and uh, the list goes on and on, but I can't wait to play more of this game. It hits all the the right notes, you know, really ridiculous over-the-top campaign, uh, very Gundam-inspired, uh, both the characters, the, the mechs, and then the story as well. And it plays pretty well. It's kind of merciless. I was surprised about that. I, yes, I realized I could... This is not the most uh, flattering clip I've ever had. I'm still learning the controls. It, take, it takes a while to get used to this. I'm not used to uh, twin stick shooting with only one stick, effectively, but whatever. Anyway, yeah, it hits all the right notes, and so despite the difficulty, I'm having a blast. And it really does help that the production quality on this game is so good. So, I guess with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I... I'm sorry that the voice acting is... Well, I don't know. I'm sort of sorry. I'm sorry sorry that we can't really do voice acting for this series unlike what we usually do. But at the same time, at least the voice acting, what is there, is actually pretty good. So, I think there are going to be a couple points where Shell and I read stuff out loud, but we're not going to be competing with the subs. Unless there's no dialogue at all, at which point, yeah, then we'll handle it. I love the secrets in here. I wish they had more, more of them, honestly. Oh man, can you imagine a super robot freaking... Metroidvania? I would love that. Anyway, I guess with this, I will see you guys in the next episode of Hardcore Mecha. And as always, thanks for watching.